But if you close your eyes Yo, what is up guys? This is your boy OG Click. Thanks for coming back to my channel. And in today's video, I have a little tutorial for you guys that is really gonna come in handy for you guys that are in the future going to buy GTA 5 monitor accounts and also this is gonna be really helpful so you guys know how to transfer your GTA 5 accounts onto your new console your Xbox One or PS4 your next gen it can be PC it's all the same process too but some people just don't know how to do it and when you mess up an account for us modders it sucks because like we put in work and into those accounts and like you know you really don't have time to just make another account for you if you guys mess it up but in today's video I'm gonna be showing you step by step how to transfer on from last gen where you get it modded from onto next gen as you can see in this video I'm gonna be transferring my modded account from PS3 to PS4 to next gen so basically the first step as you guys can see I'm already doing it is you have to do the story prologue. There's no way to bypass it unfortunately. I've tried glitches that on YouTube supposedly people say, you know, it bypasses the story prologue. No it doesn't. They're, well maybe they did at one time, probably a couple thousand years ago. You know when, you know, I don't know when King Tut was alive or something. But <laughs> it doesn't work no more like those, they're packed. I tried them, waste of time, don't even try them, I already tried them before I made this video, they don't work, so what you're going to want to do is finish the story prologue, that's what I'm going to do right now, and I'll be right back as soon as I'm finished with the story prologue. Alright guys, I'm back, I just finished the story prologue, and once you're done, you should be right here in Franklin's house, in his room, in his bedroom, the stinky ass bedroom smell like ass and waffles but you're gonna want to be in his bedroom once you're here what you're gonna want to do is quick save I recommend this quick save it open up his phone go to quick save quick save it so you don't have to do the prologue ever again when you go into this account and open up the game and you know just so you don't ever have to do the story prologue for GTA on this account so quick save it click yes Alright, once that is done, what you're going to want to do is open up the map, go all the way to the online tab, never, ever, ever, listen to this, ever, put choose character, never, never, or if you get the option for new character, never, 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 in this whole process, the only thing we're going to be clicking on is character transfer, so, as soon as you get onto the online tab you're gonna go on to character transfer you're gonna get this option right here where you're gonna want to join the club and for security reasons I'm gonna have to pause the video right here and I'll be right back once I'm done with it all right guys and as soon as you're done making your social club you should get a screen like this that says account created you just join the rockstar game social club your social account has been linked blah 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 alright once you're done with that the only option you're gonna get is return to game so you're gonna return to story mode alright once you're here your screen should look like this you're gonna press X or A depending on what console you are on then from there you're not going to I repeat not going to choose choose character you're gonna go on to character transfer you select on it once you select on it you're gonna get this screen saying quit are you sure you want to quit GTA 5 all on save process will be lost press on OK then you should start fading out and you should get this screen as you can see it says you are returning player signed into a rockstar game social club account previous grant the auto online characters and process associated with this social club account you can start a new gta 
online game or transfer your pre previous characters and process progress I mean sorry the transfer option may be used now or accessed later via the online section of the pause menu would you like to start the transfer process by viewing the previous GTA 5 online data that is eligible for transfer you're gonna want to press yes and keep in mind Rockstar has a limit for each account Xbox or PlayStation goes for every console you can only transfer one time so you're gonna click on yes and as you can see right there level 350 and I put so much money on it I put around like 60 billion not millions not M's B big boys billions that it shows up negative on there that's crazy all right so you're gonna want to select on the moderate account and it says are you sure you want to mod GTA and finesse us out of our money out of Rockstar you're gonna press yes yes once you press yes you should get this loading screen just wait for it to load up give it a minute or so all right and as you can see it should say transfer complete GTA online data transfer complete you press X OK all right then this should show up as you can see if you've done this correctly and followed every single step I've said in this video your modern GTA 5 account should show up as you can see you have a brand new character for the next gen and you have your modern GTA 5 account so obviously you're going to want to select on your the modern GTA 5 account yes you ugly toad you Alright, from there you have the option to change heritage, features, appearance, apparel, whatever you want to change. As you can see, the stats maxed out. And then you're going to hit save and continue. Then you have the choice to put whatever name you want on it. Man, you want an ugly ass name. God. <laughs> oh my bad. Alright, but you're going to want to hit accept. What a beautiful picture. Alright, and then on the bottom right hand corner you should see a little you know box saying joining GTA 5 online. Just wait for that to load. It's gonna load you in into a public online session with other people. As you can see in the bottom left corner, I also have all the vehicle mod unlocked, chrome wheels, all that, everything unlocked. I unlocked everything for this account. Here we go. All right, and then you should spawn into your apartment, and that's basically it, guys. You transfer your GTA 5 modded account onto your next gen xbox one or ps4 that's it guys are pretty much done and since we're already here why not show you guys the modded account all right so let's go into the closet let's see what modern outfits OG cook that's it all right outfits saved outfits all right let's go to number one got that classic you know you know 
check the board. All these outfits are done by me. I model myself. You know, this one when you're cooling, about to go, you know. Strip club, flip flops, you know. About to hit that, you know. About to go spin a stack. <laughs> All these outfits are made by me. No one else helped me on making them. So yeah, shout out to me. I'm saying, uh, but yeah. All right, those are the outfits. As you can see, the stats is over 350, and it has like 69 billion, not million, but billion. All right, now let's go see the garage. The moment of glory. To see the dopest, dopest, other dopest cars ever. Yes. And as you can see guys, all these paint jobs are made by me and everything. Look at these dope as cars. Just look at this. Just look at the adder, bro. Oh yeah, look look who's on the plates right there, you know. Your boy OG Click. You know, your boy OG Click. This is one of my favorite paint jobs. So proud of myself. I freaking love this one. The way it's like glitched out, just look at that. Look how it's so glitched out. Like, that's freaking crazy. Alright, but yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for today's video. I hope you found today's video really helpful. It should help you guys out on when you buy a modern GTA 5 account on what to do and how to transfer it so you guys don't have a struggle on how to transfer and also you don't give us modders a headache like we don't mind helping you guys on how to transfer it but if you mess up the modern gta 5 account yeah that's kind of annoying for us because we put in work and just to hear you guys say oh i messed up the account yeah it kind of sucks but yeah i hope today's video was really helpful for you guys that don't know how to transfer accounts like i mean i can't call you news or anything like that because I didn't know how to transfer accounts one time myself, so you know what I'm saying? But I hope you guys can learn from this video how to transfer GTA 5 accounts and it's really helpful for you guys. Remember guys, subscribe, like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> I said it twice, like, comment, subscribe, like, comment, subscribe. But <laughs> yeah, for real. Like, comment, subscribe. Remember, subscribe to stay up to like the latest and the dopest GTA 5 monitor accounts, tutorials, and you know, everything the best. Alright guys, this has been your boy OG Click, y'all already know what to do, and I'm out. Peace.